Today we're going to be installing Bookstack. For those of you who've never heard of Bookstack, it's a free and open source personal wiki program for storing and organizing your information. We're going to be creating two Docker containers, one for MariahDB, the database backend for Bookstack. The other container is for the actual Bookstack application. So one of the first things I want to do is SSH into my Raspberry Pi. And I'm going to create a couple folders for my volumes. You don't have to do this. You could just create a volume in Portainer and map the container to the volume. For applications like this, I like to map the folders in the container to folders on the system that I can easily access. So I need to create a Docker folder. And within that Docker folder, I'm going to create I'm going to create a bookstack directory or a directory called bookstack. Inside that directory, I'm going to create two folders. Config bookstack db. Perfect. One of the things we have to do is create a separate network in our Docker environment. We do this in Pertainer by clicking networks, clicking add network. We're going to call this one bookstack. And that's it for this network. Just click create network. Next, we're going to create our database container. So you can do that by clicking containers, clicking add container. We're going to call this one Bookstack DB. And as always, we're going to use the Linux server Mariah database application. We're going to expose ports 3306. And we're going to map our one of our volumes that we just created. So in the container, the folder that we want to map to is the slash config folder. Um, we're going to want to click bind to bind it to a folder that's already on the host. Or on the Raspberry Pi, the folder is going to be located at home slash pi, which is the username, slash docker, slash bookstack, slash Now we're going to click network. We're going to select the bookstack network that we created. And now we have a couple environment variables that we need to set. As recommended by Linux server.io, PUID is going to be 1000. PGID is going to be 1000. This is the same for all Linux server IO containers. We're going to set our MySQL root password. And we're going to set our time zone. In this case, I'm going to be America. Next, we're going to create the database for the Bookstack application. We're going to call it Bookstack. Our MySQL username is going to be Bookstack. And our MySQL password. Now we're going to go to restart policy and click unless stopped and then we're going to deploy this container. All right, now as you can see we've got the database container running here. We're going to now go ahead and create our application container. This container is going to be called Bookstack. Of course, we're going to use the Linux server Bookstack image. We're going to publish a port that will direct us to the Bookstack server. And 
and now we're going to create our volume. This is going to be the second volume that we created on the Raspberry Pi. Um, it's going to be mapped to slash config within the container. Now we're going to click network. We're going to select the bookstock network that we created in Pertainer earlier. And then, or next we're going to hit ENV to set our environment variables. First is going to be our PGID of 1000, PUID of 1000. Our app URL in this case is going to be HTTP colon slash slash 192. 1681.176 and this port right here that we exposed 6875. Our DB host is going to be the host name of the database container that we created, so bookstack db. DB user. Um, in the database, we called the user bookstack and DB pass book PA dollar sign dollar sign. We're going to create one more for the actual database. which we also called Bookstack. As always, we're going to go to Restart Policy and click Unless Stopped to make sure that the container stays online. And then we're going to click Deploy the Container. This could take a minute depending on your internet connection and the speed of the server that you're running. Now, once it's finished deploying, you're still going to want to give it a few minutes before you try to access the app because in the background, it's going to go ahead and prepare and optimize the database for the first time. This could always take a few minutes. All right, I gave it about 10 minutes. So for this installation, the default username is admin at admin.com and the password is actually a password. It's going to be one of the first things that we change. Click login. And here, this is it. We're gonna go ahead and click on admin in the top right hand corner. We're gonna click edit profile. And like I said, the first thing that we're gonna do is change our password. And then hit save. So there we are, Bookstack is now installed. You can go to shelves, create your first shelf, test. From that shelf, we can create a book. We'll save it. And then inside that book, we can create our first page. save there it is one of the best new updates in bookstack is you can turn on dark mode much better it's a lot easier on the eyes and that's it if you have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comment section below if this video helped you go ahead and give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing thanks